Hello everyone, I am BPD and we are back playing some more Factorio. How are you guys doing today? You guys doing good? Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing, of course. I'm doing great. So, I was, uh, before we get started, I was watching ads as I was, or I was not watching ads in particular, but I was watching YouTube. And, uh, of course there are ads on YouTube. And so I was watching one and it was for a college, I guess. And they said... To most people, college is a noun, but to us, college is a verb. Now, that is crazy, right? Like, there's school just changing the meaning of a word entirely. College is not a verb. It's just not. You don't college. You learn at college, right? Like, I just... And they're not the only ones, the only commercial that I've ever seen do it. I've seen a couple other... Commercials do it, and I just don't, I don't understand why you would do that. You can't just make things up. It doesn't make sense. I want to know, what is, like, the dumbest commercial or ad you guys have seen while watching, you know, TV or YouTube? Because there are a lot of them out there. But a school changing the meaning of words, that's, that's a pretty good one to me. I just thought it was, it was especially funny for that. Anyway, what, what we're doing today, we're getting into Factorio. And as you can see, I've done some expanding. I've had a lot of mining drills over here. Got some at the coal, got a bunch of the iron and copper, and even got some more steam engines up here. I've been at work. You know, I've been doing work. I've been setting things up, getting ready for uh, what we're doing today. I want to get two things done today, hopefully. I want to get first our smelting array done so that we can have copper plates, iron plates on tap. That's step one. And then step two, I want to try to uh, automate the red science so that we can start automating our research and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to go ahead and put our array over here, I think. It's a good area. I've done some exploring as well. I've uh, looked out on the map. There, It doesn't show them on the map, but there are some biters over here that I saw. But uh, we have all this area right here that we can use. One of the perks of being in... A, uh, in a desert, I suppose, except for there's no vegetation to eat up any of our pollution. So, But we have plenty of space. We have plenty of space. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Now, I'm going to do my smelting array vertically so that I can put a space in between them like that. Now, the reason I'm putting a space in between them is because the bigger furnaces, or like the late game furnaces, they're bigger. They, uh, they take up more room, and I want to prepare the area... To take up that room so I don't have to completely redo my entire, you know, smelting array for the new furnaces. I'll still have to redo some things like inserters and such, but I won't have to redo all of them. Alright, how many is that? Seven. We're going to do 20 to an array here. So 10 down that way, and then it's going to be belt, inserter. No, no, no. Inserter, belt, inserter, furnace. Okay. And, uh, yeah, 20 to an array. Uh, we should get a backup of ore if that's the case, but we'll be producing plenty of of our plates that it won't really matter too awfully much. All right, so let's go ahead and do our inserters now. They're going to each go down like so. All right. Wonderful. We're going to be using the electric inserters here, of course. Not going to be sticking to the burner inserters because the electric inserters are faster. The reason why I use them on the steam boilers is is because the steam boilers don't need fat, super fast inserters. So they, uh, they'll they be able to get by just fine with burner inserters. These, however, we're, we're going to want iron to be coming out of here at a pretty pretty good rate. So we're going to use these. We're, we'll probably end up switching them later, too, to fast inserters. Well, actually, no. We won't ever have to do that because the, you know, the furnaces won't smelt fast enough. Anyway. All right. Now we just need to do belts. Perfect. One goes there. Actually, that ends there. We'll have these go down this way. Yep. And this one will come down here as well. Beautiful. All right. So now let's just place our power poles. Can't forget power poles. Very important part of the whole uh, system here. Power poles, easy enough to do. Uh, hmm, I guess for symmetry, we'll do them all on the inside. I don't really like it, though. Hmm, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so now that we have our first array kind of set up, what we can do is we can go ahead and do this, copy it. We'll go ahead and name this smelting array. 
All right, so we're making a blueprint, essentially, of this this smelting array. And we can go ahead and place this wherever we want. And what it does is it leaves, like, a, you know, ethereal blocks so that you can see through as kind of a guide. Now, you go ahead and get to the blueprints. Go ahead and press B on your, uh, on your keyboard. And, well, that's what it is default is B of course and then you can go ahead and get a new blip blueprint and a deconstruction planner now the deconstruction planner it will either delete a existing blueprint like so or it will do this and mark all this stuff for deconstruction right and what that is is it's for when we get robots when we get robots if we place this right here they'll they'll build it they'll come they'll as long as we provide them with what they need they'll go in there and when we get our robot system, we will have that, and it will be awesome. And then as such, you know, doing the deconstruction planner over things will mark the robots to destroy it. You can do that over wood, like forest and stuff like that. So it's actually really useful. But uh, we'll go ahead and place our we'll, – we'll place the design for it right here. We're not going to use it just yet. We're going to go ahead and plan how our ores are going to come in, right? So we need – the first thing that we need to do is we need to split off – this copper like right here okay so that's step one now we already have belts pre-laid for the iron and just in case I end up needing more let me go ahead and make a bunch of belts as well because you can never have too many belts all right so let's go ahead and turn this like so and it's gonna come down this way I have a hard time keeping a straight line in case you couldn't tell and uh, we'll go ahead and drag them a little bit more, a little bit more, perfect. And we'll grab some underground belts, spit that out right there, and spit that out right there. Okay, now what we're going to do is, um, you know what, I probably should have, I'm going to move, I'm actually going to move this smelting array down, I think, a bit. Because we can just take this. Uh, oh, it's not going to be as neat as I would like. But it'll be neat enough. Uh, you know what? Let's just... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Do it like this. These will come over like so. Right? Okay. And then this will turn. And go like that. Let me pick this up. I don't want coal on there. Okay. So, mm, you know what? I think this can still work. It's fine. It's fine. I really don't want to replace the furnaces. So what we're going to have is here is where the iron and coal are going to come into. Right? So we need it to kind of end up like uh, this, essentially. Right? Well, we could probably actually do it over here somewhere. But this is, that's, yeah, how do we want to do that? Uh, no, I think, I think that's right. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, anyway, we'll go ahead and bring this up. This is our copper, the bottom one. So we'll go ahead and, okay, yeah, yeah it's perfect. It's fine. All right, so it's going to go like this. This is going to come over like so. We're going to put a splitter right here. And then this will get turned into there like that. Perfect. And then we'll go up. Bring this over here. Oh. Dang it. That was ill-planned. But it's fine. I can fix it. I can fix it. It's okay. I can fix it. We have underground belts. We have the technology. Okay, so now we can just put this like so and then drag it up and over. All right, so we've got copper set up. Now we just have to kind of do the same thing for the iron. And we'll go ahead and do this, this, that, and that. And we'll have the coal for this one actually come in right here. Uh, why is it doing that? Uh, yeah, like so. 
Perfect. And then we'll bring the iron. That'll come up this way. And bring this over. And connect it up like so. Perfect. All right, so now we just got to place this second smelting array and hook power up to all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once I have the smelting array and some iron and whatnot backed up, I will uh, I'll be back with you guys. We are back and check it out. Look at our iron. It looks good. Getting things produced. Things look great. All right, so I have something a little bit set up. I, I made a little outline there so that I wouldn't mess things up here but I'm uh, I'm setting up our labs because our labs are what we need the science for right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them up right here and they're gonna go like so three four five we're gonna start out with 15 for now that should be plenty should be for now we'll probably end up adding more later because science can take so long um, that goes there and there and there and there and now we just do inserters like so uh, no not there there wonderful and then you guys can go there and you guys can go there beautiful uh, um, I might no, 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 no. Actually, it should be fine. Then this goes here, 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 and here. And we need a belt, which will go like so. Okay. So, that's the belt that will, you know what? I should rotate all these, actually. And put the belt on the other side. That would be smarter. So, take these ones off. And then we'll just rotate all these to turn them the other way. Three, four, five. Perfect. And then we can just throw these guys down. Oh, there's no power, though. That's fine. I'll add another power pole. I'm not that hurt about it. Or another set of power poles, rather. Uh, there and there. Beautiful. All right. So now we take our belts and they go this way. So our science is going to start right here. And we need to leave plenty of room for the other sciences, but uh, it's, it's going to start here. So let's go ahead and for now, we're just going to do this, take that, and we're going to get some iron. So the iron, all right, actually, let's talk about the, uh, the science real quick. So the science takes, oh, we're going to need copper as well. Okay, that's fine. Um, the science takes one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, actually, it's yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I did that. I did. I did it correct the first time. All right. So we'll go like that. This goes there. This will go there, and we'll have this come out like so. Right, okay, that's fine. Now, go ahead and turn this iron, have it go that way. So, like I was saying, before I got sidetracked, one copper plate, one iron gear wheel, right? It takes five seconds to make, but in an assembling machine, you only craft at half the speed, so it takes 10 seconds, okay? Now, one iron gear wheel takes half a second to make, or in an assembling machine, one second to make. So, theoretically, with one assembling machine dedicated to iron gears, right, we should have enough to, uh, we should have enough gears to compensate for 10 of the uh, machines for science, basically, is kind of where I'm going with this. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do inserters. Do I not have any more inserters? Can I make fast inserters anyway? Yes, I can. Okay, good. We're going to make 10 fast inserters. They're just a little bit better for what we're going to want to do because these machines... Uh, actually, how fast are fast inserters? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really say. 
Mm. Maybe we actually don't need fast inserters, but it's okay. That's fine. We'll make fast inserters. It's not that big of a deal. All right, so fast inserter is going to put into there, put into there, take out, and take out. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and move these down like that. Perfect. And these are going to come around like so. And we're going to have a setup of, yeah, we'll just do 18. That should be fine. 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 1, 2, no. They need to be a little bit more spaced out. Inserter, belt, inserter. No. In, inserter, belt, inserter. Okay. There. Yeah. All right. So then we go nine this way. All right. And then let's see. We're going to need the copper and the iron gears to happen. So we'll go ahead and do kind of the same thing that we have in the other, or on the furnaces. We'll go ahead and do this, right? And go ahead and do, that's fine. And then we're gonna have belts come out over here. No, they're going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Belts are going to come down this way, and these belts are going to come down this way. All right, they're both going to meet up up here. Uh, yeah, where they will get joined. Yeah, they'll 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 join up over there. So the hmm, how do I want to do this? Maybe. Uh, okay, so actually, I also think I'm going to turn these around and have them go the other way because it's a little bit sim more simple to set it up. So we'll take these, right, grab these, and we're going to go ahead and turn this like so uh, down and underground belts like so. Perfect, and now we just go down like this. This will go in, this will go in, and that will go down. Wonderful. We'll just go ahead and stretch it all the way for now. This will come over here, and then you, I need more belts. So many belts. All of the belts. All right, so go down and then turn, turn, turn. Okay, so copper is coming in, which is good because that's what we needed. We'll go ahead and get more fast inserters just because I'm already using fast inserters. And then actually we'll get some regular inserters. Now we need to give these guys a recipe, which their recipe is going to be gear. Did that not take? No, okay, it is. And then this recipe will also be gear. And we're going to need some power, which we'll grab from right here. We're going to need to make more power cables. Jeez. Um, all right, good. It does stretch. So this is going to come down to here. Oh, I'm making so many things. So many things. Pocket crafting is no bueno. I can't wait till we get all this stuff auto crafting and have it on tap. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so we've got some of our inserters here, which we'll go ahead and... These really don't need to be fast inserters at all. Like, no reason. No reason why they're fast in Why I made so many fast inserters. But it's okay. It's okay. We will live, you know. It's not the worst thing in the world. Let's go ahead and make some more regular inserters. We'll make 20. Should be enough for what we're trying to do here. Uh, got some power cables. That's good. Um, 
We'll come down like that. Oh, it just barely misses him. Just barely. Uh, go here and here. Okay. And then these guys are going to need to get power as well. And we'll go here. Yeah, like that. It's good. That and we'll do this one for the future. For the future. That's off. There we go. That's better. That's what I'm talking about. Don't you why? Why would you do that? Look at look at how terrible this looks now. Oh no. Get out of here. And you go. Why did that connect all crazy? Um, this will go here. We'll take this out. Okay. And then that's better, but still not ideal. Alright. And then power cables. Power cables. Perfect. And our inserters, which are going to go in, 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 out 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 all these guys are going to go out wonderful 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 no way oh dang it good thing i have a bunch of iron Whee! <laughs> all right there we go let's get some more inserters all right and i think uh, we could set these guys, so let's go ahead and get them all to red science. Oh, I didn't have my, my thingy turned on. Oh, so much red science. So much. Alright, so these are all going to be red science. We're going to finish up our inserters, and then all we have to do is take it up to our laboratories will have uh, have things automated okay so we still need some inserters here okay that's fine we can do that and now uh, what we'll do is this will go out uh, you know what actually I should just have it do this perfect why didn't I think of that before so these come up, oh, this is going to drive me nuts. We're so close. Uh, we're going to rotate these. Yeah, these are going to get a rotate for sure. And take these ones because you can't have them. Now we just got to bra drag, brag, drag all these up here. And we're good. No. Why did you do that? There you go. That's the ticket. Now look at our science go. Let's go ahead and research something. We'll do, um, what do we want here? Steel processing, maybe? Um, electronics, what do you get for that? Nah, I'm not worried about that. Uh, you know what, we'll do this. We'll research this. Uh, oh, there's no power here. What? How? How is that possible? They're all connected is all connected. Oh, did I skip too much here? Uh, I guess I did. I guess I did. That's annoying. <laughs> That's real annoying, but it's okay. I can fix it later. It's fine for now. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Huh. I love it. It looks wonderful. And our smelting array. We've done some beautiful things here, guys. Some beautiful things. Let's go ahead and get rid of Get rid of this, and then we're going to go ahead and shift it as well so that it doesn't want to delete all that stuff. Wonderful. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for us here today. We've made a lot of progress. Made a lot of progress. I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. Um, I don't think I have anything to say. I think I usually I have stuff to say at the end of this, and I feel like look at how fast our military was already finished. Look at we're gonna do steel processing next. But uh yeah, I don't think I I don't think I got anything. Thank you guys for watching. And um until I see you again, have a good one.